Another example of a desirable difficulty involves being tested rather than being presented with the to be learned information. So testing is very often viewed in its assessment sense, namely that I will use it to assess my state of knowledge or if I'm a teacher to evaluate a student or a trainee's knowledge. But the last couple decades in particular have demonstrated that actually tests turn out to be powerful learning events. And in fact, what appears to happen is that when I respond to a test by producing something, I remember that much better in the long term than if I'd simply presented that information. And a key actually to becoming better at managing your own learning is just to understand the power of what we call retrieval practice. In giving talks about testing versus presenting, I've sometimes had to use that term retrieval practice because tests have kind of a, a bad meaning for a lot of people. And uh, expressions like teaching to the test and so on. So, but in, when we talk about retrieval practice and the critical importance of producing procedures, knowledge, skills, that can kind of change the climate, so to speak, and make it more understandable. And that really, I've sometimes told undergraduate students that a big key to managing their whole college education is to input less and output more. Just practice the process of producing it, getting together with other students, answering questions, and so on. And again, it fits this pattern of a sort of desirable difficulty because uh, where I get repeated study opportunities, I will often look good on the short term, whereas if I get fewer study opportunities and more efforts to retrieve that information, I may look less good during the learning process per se, but my long-term retention will be dramatically improved. And this is a critical pr principle because it applies very widely. It's uh, in terms of learning sports skills, uh, you're going to learn very little by just observing somebody. You have to produce it. And if you produce it under conditions that are more challenging, provided you succeed, the learning turns out to be better as well. And so it's as far as kind of a, a tool to have in your own personal kit of learning tools, just understanding the power of retrieval practice is crucial and very widely applicable. It's related to generation effects uh, which also enhance learning a great deal, getting someone to generate something rather than simply presenting it to them. So uh, it, it's an important component, a, a critical desirable difficulty.